Today we're going to be going over some of the features of the automatic gate opener for the robotic mower. Uh, still opens just fine. Perfectly functional as a gate still. We'll take a look at some of the components and how it's put together. So for controls inside this uh, waterproof box, got this DIH Ool DC motor controller. Uh, it has an app that'll let you uh, set a schedule, open and close it from wherever because it's hooked up via Wi-Fi. And uh, a lot of cool features on there, really great for my needs. And then that runs over to this 18 inch linear actuator. This one goes at 30 millimeters per second, I believe, 34 without a load, but that seems to be fast enough. Anything below that, and it just wasn't opening quick enough for me. The motor controller also came with this little remote, which is handy for when you're at home, at least. When I'm at work and I need to open the gate, then I'll need to use the app. Easy enough. I just buried the cord and ran it through. Um, excuse this dirt patch here. That was from the old works land droid that would just get stuck up against my old gate and just destroy the lawn right there. So the new uh, Luba 2 is much better and uh, we've avoided that problem. I had originally designed this with a Raspberry Pi in there with a motor controller and it was really just bloated, and uh, I had a Bluetooth beacon on the mower, but every time the mower would get in the area, it would open the gate, even though it wasn't ready to cross through yet. So therefore, my dog would see her chance to escape. Had to revision that and found this linear actuator controller that works so much easier. So uh, no more code, no more problems, easy to go. So something I had to make for this is these 3D printed parts. You've got your end caps, on each end and then you've got your pass-throughs one on the inner side the movement side and two on the outside so I 3d printed those out of ASA so that way they would have really good uh, heat endurance and uh, there seem to be really strong parts I printed them at 100% infill I'll have those parts listed on my website below along with all the other parts on the 3D printed parts, you can see I made the hole a lot bigger than the rod that is used. Uh, I did that just because boards are going to shift a bit over time, and I didn't want that to bind up. So it's got plenty of room for movement there. It looks like it'll be good for the long run. Things were a little bit difficult during the install of these 3D printed parts because not all are the same depth. So this one right here is at 17. This one right here is at 14. So to make this work with those without going out buying new pickets, I just use a belt sander and sand it down inside of here just so that way these would squeeze into that depth. The rods I use, aluminum rods, are about 9.5 five seven millimeters in diameter i'll try to find a link if i can do they'll be down below in the description so here comes the luba getting ready to go to the front yard to mow so i'm opening it up right now for it and there it goes off to work So really, it was a simple enough build. It's just about leaving enough of a gap right here for those rod holders to be able to have movement. And then, of course, you have to build your lower frame up higher because it has to give that 18 inches of clearance. 
Um, but yeah, rod holders down there. Nothing on this side down here because otherwise it impedes movement. And that slides up there. You can kind of see how that works there. Built a center board here just for the actuator to be mounted on, and then that goes up to a top 2x4 with a bolt going through that. Overall, not much different than a normal gate build, except for this piece being higher and these brackets in here. Then the rest of us just adding the actuator and the controller. Well guys, sorry I didn't have a video on the full build. I really wasn't sure where I was going with it until it was done and it ended up working out great. Hopefully that gave you a good enough overview so you can kind of see how it was done. All the parts will be linked down below in the description. Uh, STL will be available on my website, labyeti.com. Thanks for watching.